keep it down. Always so noisy. <laughs> hey, Dad. Listen to this. I don't like that we're both talking in our sleep. <laughs> have slept wrong like I always do. <laughs> Looks like one early. more thing I can't do right. Well, no sense in hanging around here. <sighs> Get that good Gabby information. There's no way I'm going back to sleep with that. Hello? Guess everyone's still asleep. This is kind of exciting, though. Oh, oh, it's just like the stories. Heroes explore castles all the time. I wonder if it also has trap doors or secret passages hidden in the wall. Um, yep, probably. I think I read somewhere that nuns use them during the war to hide. Hey, maybe during my free time I could explore a bit. Maybe even forge a map. <laughs> Once the week's over, I'd have mastered the castle. Holy Beltron, the Lord of Dark Passages. Lone crowned queen of the castle. Sounds fun. Real fun. <laughs> that nun was right. This place. There is a special air to it. Hmm. Oh, it's oh. another statue. <laughs> There's just so many of them around here. Strange haven't noticed this one before. Do you like it? I made it last night! <laughs> no! Sister Adira, I didn't see you there. My dear, I've lived most of my life here. When sworn to the cloth, moving around silently becomes quite the habit. hey <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bit of a joke. It was good. It was good, Adira. Oh, I'm sorry. I can be a bit slow sometimes. I'm so busy trying to be what everyone else wants me to be. Just cut it out, Holly! <laughs> it's fine, dear. You don't need to humor me. Unfortunately, comedy is one thing the Bible doesn't cover too well. You don't say. But what I do know are the stories of our beloved saints. Saint Rosa de Lima. Are you familiar? Um, just a bit. Is that so? Y yes I've noticed you, Holly. Walking around the convent, observing our statues. I have a hunch that there's more to you than meets the eye. <laughs> well now, don't be shy. Tell me about her. I want to see what's inside that head of yours. Well, patron saint of the Philippines, also of florists, gardeners, and family conflict. Interesting. She was don't born say. in 1586, canonized in 1671, feast day, August 30th. Interesting, a lot of 1500s. Hmm, impressive. I read a lot. So. Well, back in school, each class was assigned a patron saint. I think it was in the fourth grade. We had a little painting of her at the back of our home room. Our Christian life teacher was super strict. Would call us up front, and if you got just one date wrong, then there'd be hell to pay, literally. <laughs> well, I can't say that out loud. <laughs> A relatable experience. Ah, oh, Mother Idolora was the same. I always had trouble with the years. All those numbers, they'd always get jumbled up in my head. Wait, the Idolora? You knew her? Knew her? <laughs> she was my I mentor. I am her. Taught oh. me everything I know. But oh, it seems I've given away my age. And here I hope to pass for a woman in her forties. I... Uh, well, I didn't mean to... I told you not to humor me, child. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
But that's the thing now, isn't it? Whether it's for the saints or for ourselves, we're always so obsessed with dates, aren't we? Why is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when she's not giving a lecture, she's not so bad. What should I say? Yeah, joke around. Screw it. Yeah. Uh. I know, right? When it came to schoolwork, I felt like a parrot memorizing and repeating things on cue. That's right. <laughs> I felt the exact same way. God, what if she's like, like luring us in? <laughs> obedient little birds. <laughs> Though, <clears throat> to be fair, such things are a necessary part of our education. It helps keep the mind disciplined, lest our thoughts idle elsewhere. However, when it comes to saints, I always found their stories to be so much more interesting than simple dates. Though, it's comforting to know they're teaching you the right things over there. Others aren't as fortunate. And it shows. We each have our own little story to play out. Some are content to simply live out their lives. They fail to leave a mark on the world. But some, those who rise up through extraordinary acts, well, they become saints. I feel like that. Do you ever feel like that? Like that by streaming video games, you've somehow risen up. Ascended? Through extraordinary acts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're sure, almost yeah. like saint-like. You ever think about yeah. that? Like how we're basically saints? We're like as close to God as you can get. Yeah, like through playing video games on the internet. Really, we've, yeah, ascended our mortal bounds. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think about that <laughs> frequently. Statues uh. such as these ensure they are always remembered. And when we remember them, we can strive to imitate them. See now that's some now that's some evil dialogue right there. <laughs> like we want you to remember, so we'll put you in stone. I'm still I'm still on the in the end people get put in stone train. So, what do um, you think I th of it? Yeah, I think that that's a really good theory. I do think I I can't tell if because we've now had even though it was short, we had one scene where we were like in the mind of Adira. Um, so I, I don't necessarily think that she's involved with anything weird because she seemed genuinely like, I'm so excited to guide and nurture these young girls. Right. Right. But like, maybe it's, maybe it's a bait. I don't know. My, my thought process. This is my thought process. I, okay. I go, it goes, I have an iceberg of ideas first. Okay. First layer that mm -hmm. they become that the plan is to like make everyone statues because there's so many statues around here. Second layer is the game is called Saint Maker because she's trying to make these girls perfect so that she can then put them in the statues so they'll live on as like perfect saints forever because you want to imitate them and, and they wants, she wants them to become like them, right? And so mm, the best way to do that is... Right. And then the deepest layer is the nun that we met at the beginning that was young. We haven't met any other nuns. I think all of them are Adira. What? <laughs> I think Adira was the young nun at the beginning. I think Adira is all of them, and Adira is like 500 years old. Do you. Do That's you the think deepest this... level of insanity. Do you think this because she was like, here's your schedule, and it was just all her? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's my wackiest theory. Like, down at the very bottom is this. If, it pay, if that's correct, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, proceed. Yeah, I got these. Huh? The statue. Oh, well, I... I should probably say... Looks mm. like it's seen better days, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we're, we're being encouraged to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's too bad, though. The paint's peeling off. Ah, uh, yes. And to think I just treated that one a few years back. I'm telling you! It's very odd. 
No matter how many times we got an I try to paint her, for having a nice convo it with all just comes right off. It must be the humidity. Or the rotting corpse inside. What? Too bad. Though, despite everything, still she stands. I can relate. See the top of her head? It was meant to evoke the very special crown she wore. Small little spikes lined across the inside. Yeah, I remember that part. A crown of thorns. She really strived to be more like Christ. Yes. We all have our own ways of showing devotion. I put people in statues. <laughs> Always like, what? <laughs> Pardon? The, the way I see it. Uh, it sounds painful. Yeah? Yeah. Because this, I don't know if that's... But this, I think we could... Yeah. Yeah, I'm done for that. Sounds painful. Indeed it was. But that's how it is. After all, if the road to sainthood was easy, well... Then I'd have a lot more statues to attend to. Right. So some people make it and some people don't. Right. <laughs> it's part of my evil plan. I mean... <laughs> this sure brings back memories. I'm having a recollection, if you will. Whenever I found myself overwhelmed with responsibilities, Mother Idolora would remind me of dear Rosa de Lima. We all have our little crowns to wear. Wear yours with pride, Holly. Um, sure thing. Thank you. Glad we could talk. Oh, would you look at the time? Where is the other one? I'll meet you in the common hall in a few minutes. The other one. Last minute bathroom breaks and all that. Hmm. Crowns, huh? Well... Hmm. Doesn't look like she's enjoying it. Not the slightest. Noise. Such a simple. <laughs> oh thing. my god, the I heard that as noise. <laughs> noise. Shuffling footsteps of a crowd. A deer the whisper of a seatmate. Noise. It's easy to take this as the norm. But this place, this Sanctuary offers a very special silence, a very special sense of isolation, and I want the two of you to take advantage of that. When left to the sanctity of our own personal thoughts, well, we tend to encounter all sorts of things. Guilt, shame, self-doubt. But also love, understanding, insight. Yes, insight. God's very special insight. And who knows? You might even hear the calling. The calling? Why, yes. Oh, those were the days. And so, for today, I would like both Gabrielle of you to practice in. silence. Not a single word. Am I oh. clear? Yes, sister. Silence and isolation, things I'm good at. <laughs> Yikes. Miss Gabriella. Just sleep, oh, dude. Sorry, I thought we already started. Here we go. Please don't be coy with me, Miss Gabriella. I'm sure a woman of your age and upbringing would know the difference between following instructions to the letter and simple etiquette. Don't you agree, Miss Beltran? Damn it. Again, again, again. Why do I always have to do this? No. Uh, Be the middleman. I'm confident we can all tell the difference, Sister Adira. I'm pretty sure it was just a harmless joke. Isn't that right, Gabriella? Eh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go with that. As I've said before, I can only do so much, dear. The rest is up to you. 
going back to what I was saying, on your booklets you will find prayers that you may read silently during these hours. Also, take note of the reflection questions at the end of each segment. At the end of the day, we will have a group sharing session. I expect productive and insightful answers from the two of you. Very well. I have certain matters to attend to. However, I'll be checking up on you two regularly. Miss Beltran, see to it that Miss Rivera behaves herself. Yes, I will. Thank you, dear. Gabby's like, look at this kiss up. <laughs> For real. Finally, some At least peace. we said something. Yeah, I mean, it's better than just sitting there. Peace and quiet. I'm sure this won't be awful. What? Where's that coming from? Yo, she has a shanty? Oh, man. <laughs> I love those. Is oh. That, is that a Walkman? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, boy. How'd you manage to sneak that in? Why? It's just a Walkman. I'm no music expert, but I'm pretty sure whatever you're listening to is not going to fly by Adira. It's called Christian Rock, and it is quite popular, so calm yeah. down, Holly. Listen to some skillet, Holly. <laughs> this is some P.O.D., Holly. <laughs> it's just a satellite! Looks like you caught me. All of you must know, I replaced the cover. Nothing but clean and wholesome Christian songs here. When people are always on your case, you learn a thing or two about hiding things. Sounds like we're both hiding things, Gabby. Damn. She just keeps on pushing it, doesn't she? It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, Still. should have put a different cover on our book. Yeah. It's the Bible. You're gonna snitch on me. It's just small. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Adira catches you... If she catches me. Unless you're gonna do something about it. Uh. So, are you? Oh my god, did no. she just step up to us? I'm just <laughs> looking out for you. If she finds out, she'll confiscate it. Just like she confiscated your book. <laughs> that's what happened, right? Y yeah, but that's not... What book was it again? Kylie Taylor, right? Not exactly wholesome Christian material, is it? It's not... It's not that bad. Well, it's not what they think. Witchcraft, seances, magic spells, Satan's way of corrupting the youth. So, are they right? No! No, they're not. Ever consider that they might be wrong about all the other things? Uh, of course. I... Look, I'm not like that. I'm not like them. I'm reasonable. Really, no. Could've fooled me. You come here with that nice little smile on your face, got your Bible verses memorized, wearing your Sunday best. You even make the sign every time you pass by a cross. Huh? Do I do that? I... I hadn't noticed. Then you get up in my face every time I break the rules. Rules which you say you don't believe in. So... Whose side are you really on? Sides? Why do I have to choose a side? Why can't I just be? I'm on your side, girl. 100%. Right? That's the, that's the answer? I just realized I was muted. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's do this thing. I'm on your side. <laughs> really? Do you really mean that? Because it sure doesn't feel like it. It's the trauma, Gabby. I'm working on it. <laughs> the way I see it, you're either a liar or a coward. Coward. It's coward. That one. I'm a coward. Yeah, it's coward. Just say it. How dare she know that I'm a coward? You think it's just that easy, don't you? <laughs> then I strike a nerve. Not used to being called out, are you? 
can't believe I have to deal with this. Well, how about you? What are you trying to accomplish? Atira's been doing this for years. You really think all your sass is enough to change your mind? They don't change their minds. That's just how it works. There's no changing her mind. I know that. It was never about that. It's like... Look, I don't need to explain it to you. But at least at the end of the day, I'm standing up for myself. That's all that matters. <laughs> True. What is with all this noise? Oh, other you nuns! Oh, all right, my... Like there's, there's other nuns. Here's the thing. I know it's going to sound crazier, but I'm going to go one more wrong down on my iceberg. Okay, she can become go. multiple nuns at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, she can be split nuns? She can split, yeah, in order to keep up the lie, she can split up the nuns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I feel my like I cracked this whole thing, cracked the case. Uh, yep, I think you're right. Damn it. Now look what you did. <laughs> now look Quick what Holly, you think did, of something. Uh, just apologize and they'll leave you alone, right? Yeah, just apologize. It's oh, fine. I'm really sorry. We were just... Did not the Mother Superior explicitly forbid you to speak? Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> the simple virtue of obedience. Is that so difficult to grasp? Of course, sisters. Don't worry, it, it won't happen again. Yeah, what she said. Won't happen again. <laughs> now, there, there, Sister Reyna. We can't expect everyone to take quickly to the discipline asked of the Edelorian Order. Give it time. The Mother Superior will smooth out all those foul little edges. <laughs> Yikes. Now where was I? Ah, oh, yes. After the liturgy, we'll be meeting with Father Sibula, so make sure that... Jeez, what rosary beads got stuck up their asses? We're not gonna, we're not gonna at all talk about the fact that they were literally describing them like they were, I don't know, stone, which needed to be <laughs> formed. Those edges needed to be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Basically, that's for you. Good. You were pretty quick to get on your knees and grovel. Yeah, yeah I knew that was gonna happen, dude. So predictable. A coward it is, then, eh? Yeah, oh, that's how she decides who we are. Oh, I, that's a fun little game mechanic. But it's true. Shut up, I am a coward. It's true. Stop calling me out. She said just shut up. Slap her? Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I'm going to let, do we, do we tell her to shut up or do we slap her? Because we're not allowed to talk. A slap's pretty loud, though. Yeah, but shall we flip? Sh shall we flip a coin? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. I have. I have a. I have a. A, a bunch of die here from our good friends at uh, Game Tea, by the way. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me pick a small oh, yeah. one. All right. On a one to three, shut up. On a four to six, slap. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We go. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's 50-50, right? Yeah. I expected you to do odds and evens. This is fun though. Uh, oh, we'll figure it out. All right. Eyes closed. Roll. <laughs> A one. All right. Tell her to shut up. Yeah. Go on, Holly. Shout it to her face. That's what you want to do, right? She ain't gonna do it. What's oh, the matter? God damn it. Coward. Mom, Dad, even Liana, they all used to shout at you. Don't you get a turn? Excuse me. I've got to go to the bathroom. Damn, Holly! Holly. I hate this because I am Holly. <laughs> You're a Holly? Ooh. I'm a Holly, 100%. If, I live if that I'm Gabby like life. If I'm in a in a high tension situation, I shut down so hard and I hate it. So oh. I feel for Holly. <laughs> but I will also be very quick to be like, you're a coward, Holly. Just yell. I, oh man, I'm a Gabby for lifer over here. I will 
confront shit head on. <laughs> like, all right, let's get it out of the way. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I know, dude. We've been friends long enough. I've seen it. I've seen it in action. <laughs> well, you've never shut down for me, so thank you. Yeah. feel very safe with you. I feel thank like we you. can talk about shit. Yeah. Wow. I bet if any, like, I don't know, beautiful redheads are listening right now, that's probably a <laughs> ringing endorsement. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right, like, if Dodger can feel safe with me, I bet you can, too. Wink, 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 wink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wink, 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 wink. Yeah. Check is in the mail. Anyway, of course. <laughs> you didn't go through with it. You never do, do you? Even when you want to. You'd just rather keep your head down and say you're sorry. That's just the way things are, aren't they? That's probably why she's right. They're all right. I hate this. Oh! Is it because Gabriella is right? Gabriella called us a coward. Yeah. It's the truth. She's not right. She's not. I just have a way of doing things. A system. It works. Oh, the facts tell a different story. Facts tell a different story, dude. Get, get, get myself, brain me. I think that's what this is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> no, that's not true. This, this has always worked for me. Whoa! Ooh. We got it. We got it, right? We got yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pull that, pull that thread, dude. Shut up! I don't want to talk about that, coward. Shut coward. Stop it! Stop it! Go oh, brain! Oh God! Go brain! Go or demon? Throw a rock. Pretty big fool of yourself right now. The plants here all rotting? Not at all like the witch wood. Where the dire oaks grow as tall as skyscrapers. The sky blossoms shine in the colors of the sunset with the colors of the sunsets. There I go again thinking about these stupid little things. Stupid, stupid distractions. Maybe I am fooling myself. Is everything all right, dear? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, hello. Everything's fine. Demon, bro. Is that no, so? hold on, though. Well, wait a second, though. Tell you, wait, hold, hold I think the fuck I'm on. Sharp when it comes to these things. Okay. Go on. Go on. Am I right that this is the same person as the sister? She's not. Okay, look, she's not the other nuns, but yeah. this nun has the same hairstyle. Exact same hairstyle. I'm just saying. It, they are up. the same person. Something's 100%. afoot. Something's afoot. Mm -hmm. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, whatever mm -hmm. we're about to find out, mm -hmm. troubles are brewing in the convent. Blessed are those who cry, for they shall laugh. <laughs> there now. Tears are nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, tears have been known to have a healing power to them. So she went from sneaky to sharp, huh? Yeah, she got changed to sharp nun. Especially when it comes from someone very, very holy. I'm, I'm not, I, I wasn't crying. It's just, it's just, I came here to start over and I, I don't know what I was hoping for, really. It all seems real silly now that I'm saying it all out loud. I guess... I guess I just wanted things to be... different. And at first I thought it was. I mean, things definitely looked different. Hallways are huge. There's paintings and statues everywhere. 
Not at all like home. But it all still feels the same. Different coat of paint, same script. And no matter how hard I try, I'm just stuck doing all the things I usually do. And it's just reminding me of things that I wanted to forget. Why am I doing this? I really shouldn't be saying all this out loud. Yo, you definitely should. You should, yeah. I have to, um, feel like you need to talk about this more, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. Even if she is a nun, I've just met her. Well, it's not like I'm mentioning anything specific. Well, I might know what that's like. I never really got along with my family. <laughs> they thought I was a bother. A big, dumb nuisance, just wasting space in the house. But then... When I stepped through this convent's large wooden doors, well, I felt like I could start fresh. Become someone new. Really? That's... that's pretty cool. That... that hit surprisingly close to home. Moving away from your family by joining a convent? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't all heavenly choirs and harps right away. Just like you, I was quite a handful to deal with. Oh, I was so chatty. My sisters said they could hear my laughter from the other end of the convent. I'd forget the prayers, was late to meals. One time, I even spilled soup all over Sister Raina's habit. Oh, she gave me hell for that one. I suppose what I'm saying is, these things take time. I guess. Hmm, what else? Oh, yes. She said to always top it off with an anecdote. Oh, I've got one. St. Mary of Egypt. Have you ever heard of her? Um, yeah. Not sure when she was born. But her feast day is April 1st. Patron saint of chastity. You see, in the early years of her life, she used to, um... Well, let's just say she was quite sinful. Tell me more. In fact, the saint of chastity. You see, she, she was a, a a thief. Yes, that's it. She stole virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's like qua. No, she wasn't. She was a prostitute. I was right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Once she entered one of the great churches of Jerusalem. She, too, underwent a great change. In fact, in the final years of her life, she was said to possess miraculous powers. Wherever she went, the sun would shine, birds would sing, she would walk on water like it was solid ground, and even talk to lions. They were her adorable little guardians. You could say it was almost like magic. I'm not sure if that's exactly how her story went. Well, she's trying. And so, um, what I'm saying is that with faith and the help of God, we can wash away the sins of the past like they never happened. And just like her, in our new life here, we can start anew. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> Sorry, not the best at telling stories. But the Mother Superior always says we can look to them for inspiration, even in the darkest of times. And of course, there's always prayer. If you ever find the burdens of the world too hard to bear, just try the Hail Mary. Trust me, it helps. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. She may not be the best at giving advice, but she's nice. Hey, um, thanks. I appreciate the help. Honestly, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It really is. That was a very nice lady who is definitely an old woman also. <laughs> yeah. An old, now then, uh, a nice nun now. This is a holy place, not a sad place. Cheer up. Boy, if 
every religious site could be like that. Jesus loved nothing more than the laughter of children. Boy, if every person thought like that. Um, I, I guess I'll try. There you go. Keep that angelic little smile. It suits you. Oh, was I smiling? I what? didn't notice. Nice none. I guess I was. Hmm. And there she goes. Well, Bye, I nice none. guess I gotta go back in there. Luckily, Adira did say today was a day of silence. As long as I don't make eye contact and avoid anything, I can enjoy the quiet. Oh, avoid sex. We literally just screamed out here. And then maybe after a while, maybe things will change. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Only demon dreams for you, kid. Oh my! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ho, ho, ho. Uh -oh. Now we go over here. Dear Heavenly Father, the recollection has been going splendidly. We've just finished another productive day, though I have to admit it has been challenging. Some aren't as cooperative as others. But I find every now and then taking a little break to work on the statues helps ease my nerves. Oh, oh dear. Another crack. There, there now. Oh, this won't do. Perfection. Only perfection. Thanks, Adira. Statues are easy. They don't talk back. They're receptive to change. And if I don't like how it turned out, well, I can always start over. Yikes. <laughs> paint away the flaws with a brand new coat of paint. Until it is perfect. After you had suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. <sighs> Good and simple work. Why those eyes God, gotta I look hate... like that? Right, I it's hate just the statue. The worst. <laughs> but of course, I am still very thankful for this opportunity to pass on your teachings. It's just that, well, perhaps it has been a while. <sighs> Spending too much time in silence, it makes every little noise seem louder. Oh, just look at me. Here I am complaining like an old fool. No, 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 no. Here we improve. We become better day by day. Nope. nope. Here we go again. Nope. Rihanna? What was that? It, it was dark. I, I couldn't see. I was just it over. What did you do? No. no. That no, 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 no. jump scared around. me. Same. Did you think that that was like a a face just like split I thought, open? Yes, I, I thought that was a thing coming to kill me. I like <laughs> I had like a you. Yeah. So there was same. some silence because I was genuinely scared. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, what's that? I was like, <gasps> maybe it'll um start a timer and let us do a puzzle where we have to put the statue back No, together. not happening. Never gonna do that. <laughs> this was mom's favorite. Quick, quick, of course it was. Pieces. I just hope it didn't wake up, uh, it didn't wake mom up. Mama Mary, we're so sorry. Apologize as well, Leah. But, apologize! Mama Mary, I'm so sorry. What, what do we do now? Mom can't find out. She'll be so mad. We can fix it. Put it all back together so she can't tell the difference. But 
But there's so many pieces. Open that window, throw it outside. For real. Throw it just get across rid of the street. It. Shh, don't worry. Just trust me, okay? I've got some glue nope. over here. She'll know. Throw it away. Throw Dude. it down the block. Okay. There. This is going to be a situation Stop where it, Holly Stan. could just, like, take the blame and probably be fine. And right? she won't. Your fault. You're going to... No, it's fine. We just need a little more glue, that's all. Oh no. Holly, oh boy. Right. Oh boy. I it all. I was going to kill us. <laughs> I kind of like it though. She's like, eh, I kind of like it too. I'd keep what that in happens, my house. What happens happens. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, eh, what's a little sinning? <laughs> Holly. Dads can't be. You say you have my back, but when it comes down to it, you always just stand there with your mouth shut. I... I don't have to deal with this. Coward. Coward. <gasps> Damn. They're coming. I was asleep this whole time. You tell her what you did. Holly. Dude, what the fuck, Holly? <laughs> Damn. Better wake your ass up to the demons. Dearest Heavenly Father, I just wish things were different. I wish that I could be different. I wish that I could be better. That's what I'm here for, isn't it? We can make things better. Or, so let's make our wishes come true. What let's do you think is... Make our wishes come true. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'd like that. Uh-oh. I'll start over. Trust me. It's all going to be fine. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> what was that? Liana? Was that you just now? Mm -mm. There it is no. again. Something's wrong. Go. 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 I need to go. She needs me. It's somewhere here. I know I heard something. Hello? I have my whole shirt over my face, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm here for. You're right. We needed to wake up. Yep. Um. Hmm. Ooh. It's her. It has to be. You need to keep moving. Maybe you need to keep moving? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the difference is here. Maybe we stop and look in a room versus. Yeah, let's keep moving, I guess. I yeah, keep moving. Keep moving. That's right. Over there. Hello? Damn it, Holly. Oh, they got the air conditioning on in here. Going into strange rooms. You can hear it. Hearing strange voices. This is all so weird. You know what's really weird? The amount of statues in this room. But also, it's mm -hmm. kind of exciting, don't you think? Yes, I do think that. That's right, it is kind of exciting. So my heart's beating so fast. Kylie Taylor always gets into these kinds of situations. Witch in training? Holly Beltron takes her first step into the dark hallway on a secret mission to find voices I heard when I was half asleep. Now that my head's clearing up, it does sound kind of stupid. Oh boy. Just what the hell were you thinking, Holly? <laughs> oh no. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ugh, damn it. G Gabriella? Holly? Is. Is that you? 
What are you doing here? Me? I'm supposed to ask you that. Well, I... Um... Awkward. <laughs> what should I say? Tell, Tell the, the truth. truth. There was a sound. Didn't you hear it? A sound? What do you mean? Like some pounding noise. And I heard a voice. Like, like Liana's. Are you serious? You better not be screwing around with me, okay? I wasn't. I... I was probably just hearing things. I can't believe this. Anyway, let's just go now. Yo, she was hearing stuff too. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I think that was just the floorboards. You sure? It sounded way too loud to be just floorboards. I've never seen her like this. Yeah, shaking she's, all over. She's... Oh both yeah, they get into her too. Experience... Yeah, both of us are experiencing shit from our pasts. I think while we're asleep here. The recollection. The recollection. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, Gabriella, are you, are you scared of the dark? What? No. And you still didn't answer my question. Why'd you follow me? That's a stupid question. You just get up and leave in the middle of the night, leaving the door wide open. What the hell's wrong with you? So I spooked you, and you didn't want to be left alone? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> this is too good to pass up. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Uh, what? Oh, what happened? Oh my god, okay. You hit the screenshot button. Yeah, I did. Oh my god, it scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh, I... am I dead? I think it's a bit mean to scare her on purpose. Yeah, throw words back at her. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you're not a tiny bit scared? Because the way I see it, you're either a liar or a Damn. coward. Damn. Am I pushing this too far? Maybe, but who cares? I needed some of this. So it's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> Real mature. Look, thanks. It's the middle of the night in an old convent. It's straight out of some horror movie. If anything, you're the one who's weird for not being a tiny bit terrified. Okay? Huh. Never thought about it like that. I guess I'm just used to sneaking around the house at night. When Mom and Papa were asleep, that was always the best time to play. The dark never really scared me. In fact, I kind of like I it. I was born in it. It's the mornings that I don't like. It brings to light all the little things you missed in the dark. Are you for real? Do you feel cool now? God. I ever think I might have just been concerned for you? Concerned for me? Right. Oh, I've tried, you know. Tried to be nice and friendly. But for some reason, you just don't seem to get it. Don't seem to get it? Please, I know your type. You're just pissed because I saw right through your bullshit day one. Sorry, True. I can't Fact. hear you. Why don't you come a little closer into this dark and scary room? I'm kind of relieved to see that behind that fake-ass smile, you're just as immature as everyone else. Shut up! Quit acting like you know me because you don't! Damn, we flipped a <laughs> switch just then. Well... Well, I told okay. You to stop. Th that wasn't me. <laughs> well, what was that? Um, pardon? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That noise in the background, that window knock, is upsetting. Also, flesh beasts. You know, flesh yeah, beasts. Yeah. There's also flesh in there. Mm -hmm. What is that? No, that's that's not right. Uh, um, no, 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 no. <gasps> Can Gabby not see it? Are we hallucinating it? Uh. 
Oh. Broken ceramic, splintered wood, a fallen statue pushed. Gust of wind? Just a gust of wind. Maybe a rat? That's that's all it was. Things just look different in the dark. That's all. Oh, Girl. Please tell me that this is all just some joke. I didn't. I was just... That wasn't me. We should go. <laughs> what? Where's that coming from? It must be the nuns. I hear them praying every night. What are you talking about? It's been quiet here every night. Really quiet. Oh my god. Trust me, I would know. Very good sleeper. What's making that sound? <laughs> the statues, dude. What the hell? Yes, the stone noise. Let's see. Yes. Let's go. It's so close, so close. Let's get out of here. Look out the window real quick, though. What, the, what is this? They're everywhere. This, this is a joke. Please tell me this is one of your jokes. I swear I didn't. I couldn't do this. <laughs> They're dragging themselves. It's from nowhere and everywhere. Shh. Let's just walk this way back upstairs. <gasps> nope. Fuck. Fuck. Nope. Nope. What the? Right, Liana? At night, when our parents were asleep, we walk around really slowly, talking in whispers, playing our little games with toys that we hid so well. All the while, careful not to make a sound, because if we woke them, we'd hear their footsteps echoing across the house like thunder. And as fast as we could, we'd pack up all the toys and books, hands moving as fast as we could to fix the mess we made. Then we'd tuck ourselves in underneath the sheets and listen, hoping, praying, that we left no sign that we were up. I was really good at staying still, even if my heart was beating fast. If I took small enough breath, lied still, perfectly still, like a statue. Whoa, boy. Fuck, dude. Statues in the room with you, get out. Dude, for real, I would not go in a room with statues. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. At least we're both on the same page now. That's good. Yeah, that is good. That? Just, what the hell was that? I. I don't. Did that. Did that all just happen? Here's what I preemptively don't understand. Yeah. Why are. Why are we gonna stay here? <laughs> Great question. I would be like, now nah, we gotta go. Why? Which maybe why that's will the, the thing. rest of this story happen? Maybe we can't get out. Maybe like tomorrow is. Sorry, ladies, you can't leave. Like, there's gonna be oh, some crazy God. thing. I don't know. Oh, Holly, look what you did. This is what you wanted. For things to be different. Isn't that right? An achievement. An eerie procession. Oh boy, cool. I wonder what would have happened if we would have done things differently night one and two. Right? Would we have gotten more? Or are we just playing know. the character perfectly? Yeah, I don't know. And so, as she crossed the softwood bridge, Kylie whispered a goodbye under her breath. At the very least, I've got one heck of a story to tell Farley once I return to the orphanage. I'm sure she's missed me, Kylie said. Feeling the warmth of her spell key against her palm, she had a skip in her step and a smile on her face, knowing the forest was not so dark after all. Not in the slightest. The... 
the end. Wait, that's it? But but she's coming back to Witchwood, right? What about the Bright Queen? She's she's still alive. I'm sure of it. Also, what gives? Farley was only in the first chapter. She better have a bigger part in the next book. Huh? Holly? Are you... Are you crying? What? No. No, I'm not. Aww. You liked it. Sh shut up! <laughs> I'm glad I was right. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Why you gotta why you gotta do this? Hmm. How how did this go again? I was just gonna say This place this room I was never comfortable here. But moments like these is this is this what home feels like? No rules, no shouting, no pressure to be someone else? To be anyone other than me? Holly are you okay? I You've always been happy here, Holly. Yeah, that's right. Remember what you told her? Uh, I think so. Uh. Well, one is the more reserved response, and one is the more... Oh, screw it. We're, we're going full emotional journey. Yeah. Yeah. It was... It was just so good! Oh my god, in the last part, Archwitch Elaine was the Bright Queen the whole time! My mind was blown! Oh, oh, and the ghost of her parents coming up at the end to teach her the wishing spell! Yeah, and Perdita using time magic, and when Cyrene came in the end to help out, oh, so good. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a good achievement. We, we've got to get our hands on the next book. Oh, and I've also got to get one of those spell keys. I saw some at the bookstore the other day. Oh boy, they got hit uh, by uh, consumerism. Oh. That's it. It's done now. Yep. Every proper witch has to have one. Mom's never gonna let us buy it, though. Oh. Yeah. You're right. Mom was just complaining about the other day. A movie that's gonna send more children to hell. Now we shouldn't watch it, because it's spreading the devil's message. Holly, is it going to be like this forever? M maybe one day, when we're old enough, by then, we'd be too old for this stuff. Yeah. False. You're never too old. Yeah. Retweet. <laughs> Kylie's a pretty lucky girl, isn't she? Getting taken away to Witchwood, having her whole life turned around. I keep wishing that any day now, someone would come knocking, show up at her front door, Hand me my very own spell key, and I'd go off on a magical adventure somewhere far away. Far from all this. Even if it's scary or dangerous, I don't care. You care now! I take it all. Statues, creepy flesh beasts, all of it. First chance I get. You'll take me with you, right? I won't end up like Farley. Left alone while her sister goes out on an adventure. Oof, bro. Of course uh, uh. not. You'll be with me every step of the way. <laughs> I've got an idea. What are you doing? Give me a second. And if I just tape this here. Aha! Uh -huh. Check it out. <laughs> Forged by the changelings from Hay Spider Silk and imbued with the breath of spring. I know it's not much, but at least it's something. Something to call our own while we wait for something amazing to happen. <laughs> the twist of a key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to Witchwood. Well, in the words of the Fey Prince, 
trouble always finds a way. Oh, they are super nerds to this book. Give me a second. Yeah. I'm so Here upset because you just know the mom's going to find the book and Holly's going to be like, well, it's not mine. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Well, for now, it's just a simple box. But all the things that we want, all the things that they'll never let us keep, we can put it all in here. Then we hide it. Somewhere mom will never find it. R really? Yeah. We just need a good hiding place. Bit by bit, we'll build a collection of our own. And it all starts with this spell key. <laughs> I'd like that. But until then... <clears throat> for my first spell, I cast upon you the Bitter Bloom Curse! <laughs> what? Hey! No! No tickling! Stop! <laughs> We good room? You not the demonic no more? Yeah, no eye balls. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Another day, another crack to fill. Another layer of paint to cover up all the stains and flaws. Till it's just right. Dearest Heavenly Father, I had the most curious dream last night. I dreamt of her. Mother Idolora. We were in this very room, all the seats filled with my sisters. She was saying something, something very important, but her words slipped through like air and... And before I knew it, it turned into a song. And there were... We all were singing, our voices rang through the hallways like a choir of angels. Just like the old days. Except in reverse. And we were harder, yes. much harder and grayer than we are now. <laughs> it was strange. Oh, Heavenly Father, many a saint has heard your voice through their dreams, which makes me wonder, what could it all mean? sign that great things are yet to come a reminder of how things used to be oh mm. great things are yet to come um, right great things are yet to come that's what i was gonna say hell yeah of course of course we're God, a glass I half full none out. yeah all this time patiently caring for this convent fixing these statues for years and years, there's a point to it. A reason. She said, not knowing what that was. And day by day, we inch a bit closer to the next part of the beautiful story that he's written. Uh-oh. Sure, dudes. Yeah, I feel so much better. I feel now. so oh, much better now. <laughs> a new day is upon us. Rejoice. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Psst. Holly. Such a nice dream. Don't want to wake up just yet. Uh, let's do this. Give her a little information about us. Yeah. Not now, Liana. What? What the hell's Liana? Wake up. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. no this this Do you think she found the broken statue? The statue we broke in her room? Oh, no. Did you hear that? Huh? That sounded like a deer. 
I'm going down to check it out. I... I'll go with you. Sure. Hey. About what happened last night. <laughs> Never mind. I cannot Maybe believe we later. went to sleep. After all that. Yeah. These statues are like, hell no. Mm -mm. <laughs> she is going cuckoo. What is happening right now? From the room. Well, she, last... she obviously like compulsively takes care of these statues, right? Sure, sure. Look at you now. She sculpted this herself and painted. I believe. Oh. Oh, she loved this one so very much. Oh, this all has to do with Elora. Bev, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, like taking care of these statues sister, is a way for dear? her to like preserve it, Alora somehow, or maybe I don't know. Oh, good, Sister Annalyn. I need you to. Oh, you. What? <clears throat> yes, of course. You two, F forgive me. I seem. You have lost track of time. My mind, it wanders sometimes. Is everything okay? Of course not. Just look at this. Broken and shattered. How? How did this happen? It wasn't me. It really wasn't. It just fell all on its own. Sister Adira... Will you see? What do I even tell her? Do I tell her what we saw? Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Yeah, well, yeah. let's see what happens if we tell her the truth. I'm very like curious. You never believe me, damn it. God damn it, game. But I should at least try, yes, please. We break it to her gently. Will you see? There's something very wrong with this place. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think this place is haunted. <laughs> well, so much for that. And do you I think know how stupid that sounds? But but look, you need to believe us. We went down here last night, and the the statues they were moving. Uh, do you think? Excuse me, sister. Sister Italora is possessing that statue that Adira is like constantly fixing. The big one. That all of the yes, stone sculptures absolutely. are looking at. Yeah, I think there's something going on here that we're not being told, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask Holly. I swear I'm not making this up. Holly, tell her. Holly? Is this true? Say yes, Holly. Yes. Yes. There we go. Nice. Well done, Holly. What did you see? Details. I, I need to know the details. Well... We also heard chanting. What kind of chanting? Like... Like... Prayers. Everywhere. Like it was coming... From the convent itself. <sighs> now, here's the part where I'm really, really hoping you've got a logical explanation for what we just saw. Anything to just... Explain what we saw the other night. <clears throat> <sighs> Interesting. Very interesting. I think she knows. <sighs> yeah. I think she knows that the statues do this. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Luke one thirty. Sister Adira, what are you... <sighs> what you have just described to me fits many of the miracles we've recorded throughout history. Concrete statues, their lips moving as if in prayer. Accounts of the Virgin Mary is one weeping word for it. tears of blood. Perhaps you are hearing the calling. Though still, we can't be too sure. Excuse me? What we saw? It definitely wasn't a miracle. And you believe yourself to be an expert on that matter, Gabriella? Well... No, but... Haunted was the word I believe you used? 
Oh, dear child. There's no such things as Adira, ghosts. Adira, like, why... Uh, never mind. <laughs> when we pass, our souls go to one of two places. Heaven or hell. And from what you've told me... We just might be fortunate enough to find ourselves in the presence of angels. That that can't be true, could it? Wow. Just... Wow. There's no changing your mind, is there? Well, in the coming days, hopefully I can change yours. There are records. Records and books on this matter. Right here in this very room, if I'm not mistaken. Though it seems uh, I have let this place go. Well, no matter. I have two able-bodied young women with me. Yes. Yes, that is something we can do. A good first step. <clears throat> Organizing your office? Sure. Starting today, I'd like you to assist me with fixing up this convent. Starting with this room. Outside, to the left, down the hallway, is a closet. Get us some mops and brooms. Whatever. As for my dear Teresa here, I shall pick up the pieces. This will take weeks of work, but if what she said is true, then this all better be fixed by the time... Girl, what? That's all right. It's all right, Adira. Just like our dream. It's a sign. Yes. God has it all planned out. Yes. Yes, I will do it then. I'll put you back together so she can see the fruits of my labor. And it will all be perfect. Not a single crack. Almost like it never happened. Sister Adira? She okay? Uh, maybe best letter B? I have no clue. Sure, either. Offer help? Doing what? Although, maybe that so might like, give us more information? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, like, hmm. I, like, there's, there's obviously, the game is setting up a parallel, right? Yes, like, yes. Like, Holly and her mom... And then there's Adira and Italora, right? And Italora, like, obviously demanded perfection out of Adira. And Adira did something, maybe literally the exact same thing that happened at our house, where one of the statues was broken and it was, like, a huge fucking deal. And now, like, she constantly fixes the statues or something. Um, so maybe offering help, yeah, maybe, maybe we can find out more about that or connect with her in a way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if leave her be makes more sense or if, cause I don't know if it means leave her be means we immediately go out and we talk with Gabby or yeah, just leave. Yeah. Or it means we stay here. We ignore Gabby. Uh, and I feel and like we should be like instead. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Maybe offering to help will just be like her being like, thanks, dear, but I got it. Sure, yeah. Well, let's find out. Do, do you need me help? Don't touch it, you! Woo! Mm. <laughs> you, you, you... You might hurt yourself, dear. Sharp little edges. Best let me handle it. I got what I wanted. Oh. Sure. Holly, I could really use a hand here. I'll just... I'll be going then. <laughs> the achievement jingle is so funny. Bling. It always happens when shit is, like, going down. <laughs> careful. Careful now. You don't want to drop that. Put it right over there. <laughs> Ooh. That's the last of it. There you go. Oh, just look at that. Looking better already. Um, Sister Adira, if we're gonna mop this side, I think we're gonna need to move some of the tables over here. Yes, yes. Move them to the sides. Gabriella, can you handle that part of the room? 
Gabriella? Yeah, sure. Very good. As for those boxes over there, Holly, kindly stack them onto the side. Sure thing. Hmm? Oh boy, old documents. March 24, 1976. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> the second that popped up, the first word that I saw was foot, and I <laughs> <laughs> just made me laugh. Like, ah, uh, yes, a document about all of the people who love feet in this town. Do you want to read the foot Anyways, document? I would love to read the foot document. I would love for you yeah. to read the foot document. March 24, 1976. Oh, if you, if you keep oh, going. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it might yeah, yeah, yeah. take away the screen. Okay. I am fortunate to bear witness to the workings of a living saint. As such, I have decided to compile my experience here. Hopefully one day my words can serve as proof that we were witness to something special here. Oops. Ah. 26, that's ages ago. Can I go back? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I... Hey, we'll see. That was ages ago. It's not good to snoop around like this, but... Ah. Yeah, well, a little, a little peek, peek couldn't, hurt. couldn't hurt. Yeah, just a quick peek. Yeah. I had a talk with Mother Idolora this morning. She was doing her usual rounds. As I stepped foot in the cloister, I felt a gentle breeze upon me. I noticed, too, the flowers blooming with such vibrant colors. It's amazing how with such minimal care, nature itself seems to blossom while in her presence. As I reported on the status of the young girls under our care, she asked me what I thought it was we were doing here. Training young girls to become proper children of God, I said. You speak of a single brick, but I envision a monument, she said, smiling. This place shall become heaven on earth, a place where even death itself would lose all meaning. Huh? Yeah, and now that they that they show those plants, they specifically showed plants outside that were dead. Yep. And so I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Though our bodies are frail, our prayers and our teachings will live on in these sacred hallways. When I asked her how this was to be possible, she merely smiled and said, God shall make it so. I am so fortunate to be alive in this wondrous time. Hmm. I wonder if... What are you looking at? Ooh. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. No, 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 no. Let me see. <sighs> oh. I almost forgot about these. I compiled them myself, you know, all those years ago. When I had brown hair and was much happier, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Pass me that stack over there, will you? I will take these back to my study. They will be helpful in the coming days. Please continue cleaning the room. And Holly? These documents are convent property, and as such, it is ill manners to go looking through them without permission. I may not always be watching, but God always knows. Uh, yes, sorry. I'll remember that. See to it that you do. I'll let you know, in my back pocket... I've got one yep. good, what does God need with a starship? Ready, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> whenever that wait. moment arrives, whenever it's like I those flesh beasts, the cock, dude. aliens, <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, what does God need with a starship? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, like, I'm prepared. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. I wonder what else was written there. It sounded interesting. Nothing demonic, I'm sure. <laughs> That's Gabby stabbing a pound of meat. So <laughs> nice. I gotta talk about what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think happened? 
You know how in movies, the kids tell the adults they've seen a ghost or something, and then no one believes them? I, I don't watch kind of wish that happened. Because now, well, I don't know what exactly is going through her head, but this is all just wrong. To be honest, I'd rather pretend it was all just a bad dream. It's easier to just forget, you know? That's the thing about bad dreams. They don't just go away after one night's rest. Yeah. It's all so... strange. Uh, but it's exciting! Yeah, but or, it is exciting. strange isn't bad. What do you think we should do? Um... I like the first one just because we're not saying that this isn't as scary as it absolutely is. <laughs> sure, sure. We're not like, and we're not like negating like, yeah, this is a bad situation we're in, you know, but sure, it's, yeah. it is kind of exciting. But it is kind, uh, it kind of is, isn't it? But don't you think it's also a bit exciting? Are you serious? Okay, hear me out. Just think about it. What we saw last night was something scary, but it was also something different. Something special. She's not getting it. How, how do I put this into words? It sounds almost magical. She'd understand that. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. It sounds almost... Magical, like, like in the Queens of Half Night, when they spotted the white wolf prowling along the East Wing. It was up to Kylie and her friends to figure out what was going on. There's always some sort of mysterious incident that binds the characters together. And I mean, it's not like we were hurt or anything. I don't believe this. I'm just saying, what about you? Have you ever seen anything like it before? No. And if I had it my way, I'd never want to see anything like it again. But just think about it. You mentioned movies. Maybe it's just like that. Or like in the book. Or any story for that matter. The heroes find something mysterious. Something they can't explain. And then they work together to find out what it is. Like it or not, that's kind of the situation we're in. The movies I was thinking of were the ones where people die. You know... Horror movies. Newsflash, Holly. The world isn't some fairy tale. But... I mean, it could be. Jesus! Uh, yes, you called? You just believe anything they want you to, don't you? <laughs> oh, alright, I'll, I'll see myself out. No, it's not like that. I'm just saying... <laughs> Dumb. Did you hear her back there? All this talk of miracles and angels and demons. Dan Brown novels all. Well, I'm not saying she's right, but who knows? Maybe she's on to something. If there's anyone who might have an idea, it's her. Adira is an old woman who... who believes in a lot of things. And the last thing she needs right now is someone encouraging her. Ugh! I can't do this! It's bad enough that I'm spending my summer stuck here, but now... this! I did not sign up for this. And why'd you even come here last night? You... No! It wasn't like that! Well, congrats. You succeeded. And look where we are now. Here we go again. Can't believe this. Okay, deep breaths, Holly. Calm down. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Mm hmm. So, what do you think we should choose here? Um, Back away, or I don't know. Fighting, I don't think is going to actually help. Yeah, I agree. Right, let's, let's yeah. Let's just let's take a step. Calm back. down. Look, let's just calm down. I'm really sorry if I made you mad. Please. You apologize all the time, and you never mean it. She's not listening. Just calm down, Holly. Calm down and tell her what you're thinking. 
Is that so hard? You've already seen ghosts after that. This doesn't seem so scary. Maybe. Maybe you're right. I do say sorry a lot, don't I? So I'll stop that. You don't like me. I get it. And that's fine. I honestly don't like myself that much either. <laughs> it must be nice. Nice to be able to look people in the eyes and talk back and sneak things in and get into all sorts of fights like it's nothing. But that's the thing. I can't be like you. But I'm not the source of your problems here, okay? Whatever you did to land yourself here, that's on you. It's not my fault you got caught going to your wild parties where you do drugs and make out with boys or whatever. Oh, yikes. There. I... I said it. Is that why you think I'm here? I like how we were like, let's take a step back. Well, <laughs> first off, even if I did do all those things, there ain't anything wrong with that. But I never snuck out to any wild parties, never did drugs, and I never made out with boys. It was a sleepover. I confessed. She didn't feel the same way. The look on her face, I'll never forget it. Next thing I know, I'm the talk of the school. Rumors everywhere. And of course, they reach my mom. That's it, okay. And if you still think that somehow that's all my fault, I've got nothing more to say to you. I... I'm really sorry. That... That does suck. That's... It's just like them, isn't it? Another one of their rules, their beliefs that that hurt people, that hurt us. <sighs> That's the thing. My family, we weren't born into the faith. When my dad passed away, Mama just... I guess she just needed something, anything, to fill the void. And then, well, it started with a friend. She told her about the lovely and supportive community they had. And I suppose they told her the exact type of stories she wanted to hear. And so, just like that, I was enrolled in a new school. New traditions, new community. <laughs> Ended up working out really well for her. But not for me. I used to be Gabby to her. Now, I'm just... Gabriella, so forgive me for being a bit skeptical when it comes to people like you. And Adira? <laughs> oh, I know her type. Someone like me is never gonna get in her good graces. People like that, they can be pretty stubborn. That's putting it lightly. Come on, she's had me pegged from the moment I got here. <sighs> so... I made up my mind as soon as I stepped foot at this oh-so-holy convent. I'll just give her exactly what she's expecting. <sighs> Best to just show them what they want to see early on. Spare them the disappointment. Oh, see, you're a coward too, I get it. Everyone be a coward up in this place. Speak your truth! falls real bad when people don't see it coming. Is that what happened to you? That's not... I'd rather not talk about it. You know what? Whatever. It's getting real stuffy in here. I'm gonna take a break. Wait! There you go again, Holly. Coward. It's always like this. So, what's it gonna be, Holly? Just gonna stand there with your mouth shut like you always do? Damn it. Can stuff always be dropping around you, Holly? It's 
cold. It's funny, this seems to be the one place where I can breathe easy. There she is. Hey. Hey. I think I'm bleeding. How... How are you gonna do that? I'll sneak out. Preferably before nightfall. It's a long way to the nearest town. Are you just gonna walk? I don't think that's very safe. Well, who knows? Once I get to the roads, maybe I can hitchhike or something. That still doesn't sound very safe. Glad to see that you're suddenly concerned for me. Look, I'm sorry. God, you're right. I really should stop saying that. Back at home, my mom would always take us to these church meetups. We'd have to smile a lot, engage in their small talk, make sure every little thing we said was something they just loved to hear. There'd be hell to pay if we ever got anything wrong. I guess old habits die hard. We? Oh, yeah. My sister. We'd read the Kylie Taylor books together. Mom would kill us if she ever found out, so we had to do it while everyone else was asleep. We'd come up with all these scenarios. Finding a secret door that would take us to other worlds. Waking up one day to find out we had magic powers. And I know, it may all seem like silly fairy tales to you, but it was fun. It made things easier. I guess we both just wanted so badly to be part of something special. Something different. I see. Your sister... She didn't join you here? She's... She's not here anymore. I'm sorry. Do... Do you wanna talk about it? Do I? Yes. Tell her the truth. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I should. Yes. Where, where do I even start? Hey. Take your time. I kept it up for a long time, you know. It was all smiles and nods at her funeral. But even then, I could feel everyone's stares. I could hear what they were whispering about her. About me. And then, just a few months after... Nothing. We moved out her stuff. Put it in little boxes and just... Packed it all away. We would eat our meals as a family of three. They would continue to go to their parties and religious meetups. I even started to forget what her name sounded like. I... I couldn't stand it. I... had a pretty bad breakdown after that. Stopped going to school. Stopped going to church. Even stopped eating for a while. Wow. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. <laughs> the silence, isn't it? Digs deep. Worse than any noise. Do you feel like screaming just so someone, anyone, notices? Yeah. Ooh. Let's throw some rocks with our new friend Gabby. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> Mind if I join you? <laughs> Which one? Probably be my guest, right? Be my guest, yeah. Be my guest. <laughs> I hate it. Having to follow all these rules every goddamn day! <laughs> Every time we spoke out of line, every time we messed up, till I got everything right, till I learned 
how to never mess up! What the? That Did you break a window? Looks bad. <laughs> what was that sound? <gasps> oh! No! 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 Well. No! 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 Well. Crown glass. Oh, she modeled it after the Saint Chapelle. The light it cast in the morning. Oh, years of history. Sacred history. All gone. Just when we were in the middle of fixing things, preparing for. You. Corinthians. What? Do you not know that our bodies are temples? And this temple was her body. Oh, shit. It wasn't... It was an accident. She means that, like, literal, though, right? Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, at least it, it became literal. <laughs> yeah. You butchered my home! Stop! Just stop it! <laughs> Just tell her, for once in your life, take the blame, girl! Yes. Tell the truth. I... I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it. It was me. Oh, damn. Here it comes, Holly. I have been so kind to you. To both of you. And this is what you do to me! Ooh! Jump Damn. kick this lady. Jump kick her through the glass. Hey! <laughs> it's fine, Gabriella. <sighs> what thought, what force seized you to assault the house of God? She didn't mean to. We were just playing a game, and I guess Holly ended up throwing the stone a bit too hard. That's all. Uh, a game? So this is the work of your idle hands, then? In that case, I'll be sure to... <sighs> no, 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 no. That will not do. Silence is never the answer. Lord, give me the strength to see clearly. Let's take a step back now, shall we? Even if there was no malice in your actions, that doesn't fix the damage you've caused. I shall be telling your parents about this. You don't have to go that far. She already said... That matter is final, Gabriella. After all, who else will I charge for the damages? Next, the both of you will pick up every last bit of glass from the floor. Am I clear? Yes. Fine. She's going to tell Mom. She's definitely not going to like that. Another thing to look forward to when I get back home. Damn. 